I think the most important things in coaching, probably we have to speak about the most important things that we talk about life. Basketball is a 24 hours job. It's extremely important to take care of yourself, uh, your body. So for me, these are the first thing for everybody to be able to sacrifice for the good of the team. I believe the teams that improving over the course of the year, they are the teams who have more chances of winning because the most important titles are decided probably in, in the last two months. We have to play hard, we have to practice very hard, we have to come prepared, but the most important is to not speak about it, is to actually do it. For me, it was very easy because I understood exactly how I wanted to be and it's just a constant adjustment. I understand now that at the beginning of my career earlier that maybe I took a lot of things for granted from the standpoint of that if I understand, which for me seems like something so easy and uh, very simple, doesn't exactly mean that my players understand it. So over the years I started coaching them a little bit more patiently, a little bit more without assuming things. As far as remembering my years from Zalgiris, when I was playing with, you know, with Polish Jankunas and I had some good guards, whether it was Vasa Micic or Kevin Pangos. In the key moments, I would go to the most simplest play and basically try to put the ball into the hands of my best players and, and to leave them, you know, more importantly, a lot of space to operate. If these guys were right-handed drivers, we would do some kind of uh, preparation by, by clearing the three position, then the two position player would, would go up a little bit. And then this is just a little bit fake. We try to create them the space and then the five position player go into so-called the dunker spot, whatever. I had the three position player clear, but he can go into the shuffle pick. And then usually Jan Kunas, who I coached for six or seven years, who's great in the mid-range game or a great as a teal guy from the five position, he will sprint into the very simple side pick and roll. But more importantly is, 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 this, is this space that we have for them to operate. So sometimes it's not about the offense, but I said it was a lot of times here, the penetration of, of Pangos or Micic into their strong hand, and then some kind of pick and pop with Polish Jankunas who was working. At the end of the games, I think your best players have to decide the game. I had Nick Kalathis in Barcelona, who was a great passer, Thomas Satoransky, and my four position player was, was Nikola Mirotic. I think one of the plays that we ran the most, they call it uh, Argentina transition. So that will put uh, our point guard, who is a great passer, over here. The three position will go into the corner and ultimately, we have here the double exit between the two and the four. So if the defender was going a little bit down, Nicola would choose up and, and shoot a three-point shot. Or if defender was kind of going over the top, Nicola would fake and get the layup. But it's not about the offense, it's about who can do what. And if you have the players who can deliver it, you know, you just look that much smarter as a, as a basketball coach. I think with a veteran team, or if you have a returning team of many guys playing together with the same coach over the years, everything is a lot easier. And they already know a lot of the stuff. You just have to refresh them a little bit and they are jump right in it. So the veteran players is extremely, extremely important. It seems like the game is moving faster with more the three-point line, but the main things will be there. You know, uh, is, is you have to play good defense. You have to not to give cheap points. In European basketball, the teams are so similar to one another. So every cheap point, every transition point, offensive rebound, 50-50 balls. These balls really determined at the end of the game for five, six, seven points different. And usually the games are decided in that point range. I always say that my ambitions can be the highest as you can imagine, but the focus is different. The focus is the next practice, it's, the focus is next day, next cycle, next week maximum. You know, this is uh, for us coaches, we don't look very far. <laughs>